Hey guys, today we have an exciting one for you. Cheap Summy. Cheap Sun. Yeah, stay tuned. Today in the aftermarket car stereo world, a lot of these cars are coming with amplifiers. Mm -hmm. And they have tweeters up front, there's a mid-range up front, there's a mid-range in the back, and a woofer. Super, yeah. And so, it's not just front rear sub anymore. It's front tweeter, front mid. It could be any combination of that. Sometimes it's a three-way set, but we're really interested in a two-way set because that seems to be really More common. common. Yeah. And a lot of people just want to replace, let's say, the front stage. So how do you do it? Well, you have to go out and you have to buy some form of summing module. Audio Control makes summing modules. Focal makes summing modules. Hertz makes summing modules. Audison. Audison makes summing modules. Everyone is getting into the summing module yeah. game. Phoenix Gold. Phoenix Gold will have yeah. one here shortly. The problem is, is they're all really, really expensive. <laughs> That's not to say they're not worth it. Oh yeah. Definitely. Because they do a lot of things other than summing. They do equalization and time correction, blah, 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 blah. You get my point. But what if all you wanted to do was just add an amplifier? What can I do? Well, that's what we're going to talk about today. Because I know some of you guys out there would love to go out and buy a bit processor, but it's just not in the budget. Yeah. You just want to be able to sum that tweeter and that mid-range together so that you can hook up an amplifier and power some really nice speakers. So we have this guy here, which is the Pack Audio LP7-4. Mm -hmm. It's a four channel LOC, which is line output converter. And we're gonna use that today to do some summing. So let's get to the test bench. So what we wanna start with is this guy right here, the Pack Audio LOC Pro 7 or the LP7-4. Now this is a four channel high level to low level adapter, but it's gonna allow us to do the summing we need inexpensively. So let's open it up and take a look at it. In the box, you'll get the four channel converter, has RCAs on one end, power plug on the other, and uh, uh, front and rear gain controls. There's a little tiny gain screwdriver right here. And then we have the harness itself. And of course the instructions. Now, the one reason why this particular high level to low level is so desirable is for these wires right here. Not the brown one, but the yellow, blue, and black. This particular high level to low level adapter along with summing will allow us to generate a remote turn on. All we have to do is hook the yellow and black up to battery and ground and then when it senses signal coming from the speakers, it will automatically generate a remote turn on. That's all you have to do. Power, ground, and it will create a remote turn on. This is to turn on the amplifier. You don't have to go and hook this up to anything. If you don't wanna use this, this will still function perfectly fine without it. It's only there to create a remote turn on. So, you know, if you're installing an amplifier, not only do you have to do all this, but then you have to go find an accessory somewhere. With this particular unit, you don't have to do that. The brown wire is just for noise. What we want to look at today are these guys right here. We have the fronts, which are white and gray, and the rears, which are green and purple. We're going to just do a two-channel application, meaning like, let's say, a driver, because it's a mirrored on the other side. So what we want to do is take a look and see what this signal is looking at that we want to sum. So we'll slide this over here. So when we talk about summing, this is what we're looking at here. We have, let's say we're going to talk about, let's say a Ford F-150 or any Ford with a Sony system. There's a tweeter in the dash and a mid-range in the door. And they're on their own channels coming from the amplifier. So you have a dedicated tweeter output channel and a dedicated mid-range output channel. Now you're just gonna put in a four channel amplifier. So, which one are you gonna use? Well, you can't use one or the other because if you pick the mid-range, you'll have no tweeter. If you pick the tweeter, well, you'll have no mid-range. So summing is when you take this and this and combine them together. That's what we're going to do with the Lock Pro. We're gonna combine this channel and this channel 
So we're gonna take two channels and make one channel. So let's set these RTAs aside right now. And we'll pretend for the sake of this demonstration that one of these is the tweeter wire and one of these is the mid-range wire coming from the amplifier. Now what we wanna do is hook them up to our lock pro. We want to use a front and a rear. Now the corresponding colors and how this is gonna go, so like you have all the lefts and all the rights, is white and green are the driver's side, gray and purple are the passenger side. Now, what makes this adapter kind of weird is the fact that it has RCAs on this end and it has RCAs on this end, and you're like, what do I do with all these RCAs and why are they here? You have to cut these off. These are here so that you can use them to plug in for different installation options. For this option, we're not gonna need these RCAs. We're gonna cut these off, throw them away, or save them for something else that you may need. Now this is a brand new unit. I don't wanna go ahead and cut these off. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and twist on some female RCAs. You can do this as well. If you don't wanna cut these, that's up to you. So we'll go ahead and twist on our... All right, so now we have outputs from the factory amplifier. We can take one of our RTAs and we can plug it in. This one is the mid-range. So we'll go ahead and plug that into green. This one is the tweeter. We'll go ahead and plug that into white. Now what we want to do is plug in our box. What you're going to need is two Y connectors. All right so that you can take and plug in to both of these whites here and here. If you know anything about car audio, the reason why you just don't take these wires and twist them into these wires and then just hook them up to the amplifier is signals don't work that way. You'll just burn up whatever's on the other end of this. This box, however, is gonna prevent that from happening. It's not gonna allow these two, meaning these two, to interfere with each other. So when the amplifier is playing these, it comes into here. It's not gonna feed back, meaning this wire is not gonna feed back into that wire because of this box. But we need to join the two of them, so we're gonna use this Y jack. So now we'll bring over the RTA. We've got the Y jacks connected. We're gonna plug an RCA into this, plug our RTA in, and voila. Now we have the signals summed together. Now naturally there's gonna be some kind of a dip and the dip just happens to be right here. But the nice thing is, is that these have the two gain controls on the end. So you can adjust one or the other. So if you feel you want more tweeter, just turn down the mid range and vice versa. If you want more mid range, just turn down the tweeter. But you can use these two gain controls to try to level out this signal. Now there again, this isn't perfect, it's not EQ'd, it's not anything like that. This is just a means to an end to allow you to do this inexpensively. So there you go. Now you can take that tweeter, take that mid-range output, yeah. combine them together, hook up a standard two-channel amplifier, a four-channel amplifier, whatever it is you want to do, and rock on. There you go. And like we said, the nice thing about this is it creates its own remote turn-on. So it makes things extra easy. Awesome. Uh, isn't that great? <laughs> <laughs> well, we hope you guys enjoyed this. Fernando, if you Thank please. Thank you for watching. You guys can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And if you're on Facebook and you'd like to communicate with us, check us out Monday nights for our Facebook Live. Yes. We do it at 6.30 Eastern Standard Time. Mm -hmm. And if that isn't enough, we're also daily Facebook Living right now. We're seeing how that works out. <laughs> yeah, every day around like... Uh, between noon yeah. and two. Yeah. But enough of that. You guys have a great night, and we will see you later next time.